Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal and welcome back to Okami. Last episode, we defeated Orochi. In this episode, we're going to share in Kamiki Village's celebration. Now, I would like to apologize before we start talking to people, um, for the lack of an episode Saturday. I had to hold off this episode until today because the first, my first illness of the flu season hit me and it hit me hard. Hit me like a train. Now, it wasn't the flu, thank goodness. I'm really glad it wasn't the flu. But it started off as a sore throat and a cold, and then it also went into my ears, so I have, I currently have a uh, ear infection, possibly a double ear infection. I'm still waiting on that. I'm going to go to the doctor, so don't worry. And then it also developed into pink eye. So I had a nice long laundry list of maladies. It was, it was quite a blast. I was, inc not incapacitated, but I was um, bedridden for about a week, and that felt, huh, it felt good. It felt good to be in autumn. Yeah, so, uh, okay. Uh, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta roll the punches. So I decided that I would just um, delay an episode rather than record when I have a semi-sore throat and wait until my throat was good enough until I could record without any pain. And that day is today, so let's go ahead and start sharing in the celebrations. Uh, Kamuso. I felt it. I sensed it. The ancient monster disappearing with one final roar. That man, Susano, has a relentless and mighty drive within him. Huh? I sense a new driving force for Susano now. Could it be love? You're curious about Susano's fortunes in love? Well, he should be back here in the village. But I don't sense him anywhere. Perhaps he and his special someones are talking in secret somewhere. You must not poke your nose in their affairs too much, my friend. Well, I'm going to, and you can't do anything about it. Except maybe surpri uh, spring a surprise battle on me like you used to do. I wonder if he's still going to do that in this adventure, because the adventure's not over. Also, for those of you wondering, uh, I did get a new weapon last at the end of last episode. Killing Order Tree gave me uh, Sumagami, but I'm not going to be equipping it until at least until after we've left uh, Kamiki Village, because I would like to wear the weapons I used to kill Order Tree uh, during the festival. So now, if you're wondering where. Susano is. He's actually not in his home. Uh, neither is Kushi, and they're not in Kushi's home. So we're going to have to poke our, poke around for them. I mean, he said don't poke around, but again, in any video game, if it tells you not to do something, you pretty much want to do it because it leads to Easter eggs. Okay, so we have these people drinking sake. There's the Nameless Land, and also you'll probably notice that my voice still sounds a little bit uh, off. It still sounds like I'm a little bit congested, and that's because <laughs> I am. But yeah, I'm not fully recovered, but I'm recovered enough to actually record, so yeah. Hey, friend, where have you been? Did you hear about Susano and the Monster Man? Freaky. He used to do his best to avoid trouble. I'll drink a toast to him, to the brave warrior. Yeah, dog. Ah, are you well, Wolf? Thanks to you, business is good. I'm enjoying a celebratory drink. Ah, uh, looking at the crescent moon reminds me of Kaguya. Do you know anything about her, Wolfie? Know anything about Kaguya? Uh, how would I? I didn't think so. I'd be pretty amazed if you did. Also, he's talking to a wolf. Ha, uh, it sure is a wonderful moon, isn't it? Say, Wolf, do you know anything about Kaguya? Uh, y but what happens if I say yes? Oh, sure. How how could a wolf understand what I'm saying? How ridiculous. Then why do you even ask, Bamboo Brain? Very true. Although I wouldn't have put it <laughs> quite in those words, because I didn't want to offend the poor old man. He might have a heart attack and die. Uh, Crude. Ah. You look like you're having fun, wolf. Just chase some monsters off your territory, have you? You know... The festival is a time to honor our sacred tree, Konohana. Maybe the gods smiled on us and lent you their strength. Ha <laughs> ha! So yeah, this is actually somewhat of a, a casting call, uh, if you want to look at this in a, a play perspective. But 
the first part of this game is done, so we're having a casting call, and then the second part should introduce a whole new cast of characters. Uh, Mushi. Hey, it's the new king of the d hole digging, Snowy. Sorry about the cut there, uh, the, the recording lagged a tiny bit, so I had to fix that. For some reason, my computer's been la uh, just lagging, sorry. I'm not gonna concern you guys with recording stuff. I'm gonna be best friends with Hayabusa forever. After all, he did save my life. We're gonna dig up turnips like there's no tomorrow. Very good. Uh, can I talk to you again? Oh, he says the same thing. I hope you're gonna show Ho Hayabusa your new hole get digging skills again. We're practicing like crazy so we can beat your record. Hey! Man! Buddy! Why'd you shove me? Kokari! Nya nya! Can't catch me! Mushi's all fired up about that hole digging record again. Even Ume's no match for Hayabusa's hole digging skills. Well, I guess I have my own challenges to face too. This might be the last time I play with Mushi. You see, I want to face new challenges. I want to see the world and become a real man, just like Susano. But I'll never forget the time we spent fishing together, doggy. Oh, that's good. It's good to know that you're looking back while looking forward. Okay, uh, let's talk to Ume, because Ume's here. Also, Hayabusa, you just walked through your friend. And, uh, uh, don't walk through people. I will, I'll kill you myself. I know it was you who slew the dreaded odor sheep. Hayabusa! Go away! That was quite a feat. Aw, shucks. We had a lot of help from Susano, too, you know. Hayabusa, you're... you're photobombing. Stop it. You defeated Odoshi and saved the village. I'm not doing Vegeta's voice. That would totally kill my throat, because I'm still not fully recovered like I said earlier. I'm so sorry I was busy with my own duties to help you. I was too busy. Oh, relax. A dog's gotta do what a dog's gotta do, right? Exactly right. Now, one person that's missing, well actually, there are a couple people that are missing. Um, first off is Mushi's mother. Usually she's over here, but actually she's hardly ever there in the nighttime. So uh, we're gonna look, go up the path and look for her. Uh, if you wanna find the rest of the villagers, they are up here to the right path, going up to the sacred deck, all the way up. And we'll find them doing something that really befits a festival. Drinking! What else? So let's go up here. Although they're drinking all the way up here. That seems a bad, like a bad idea because they could fall. Uh, I don't know. They're, they're all Mavericks. They're all Ben the Pikmin. Hopefully you guys remember Ben the Pikmin. Pikmin was a very underrated LP. Anyway. Mrs. Orange. I'm so happy my husband's dance went so well again this year. Now the spirit of Konohana, our sacred tree along with the spirit of Orochi, can rest in peace. Wait, what? What? Why does she want Orochi to rest in peace? That's interesting. So, he's dancing so that Orochi's spirit will rest. Okay, whatever. Fireworks! <laughs> That's all she says. Boom! Paw! A thing, uh, Mushi, and then, or Mushi's mom, and then a foot. <laughs> Man, he's really masterful with those fireworks. I don't think real fireworks can even come close, or rather, our fireworks can even come close. They're such great fireworks. Really great. Prettier than ever before this year. Yes, they are. Actually, I'd, I actually have had a lot of experience with fireworks. My family's actually never ever bought fireworks, but I used to have a neighbor that would literally spend thousands of dollars on fireworks. Like, I'm not even joking. He, on, uh, 4th of July, he would go to a, uh, fireworks stand and buy, I'm not joking, once again, a trailer full of fireworks, then he'd go back and pick up a second load. Uh, I think one year he spent $3,000 on fireworks and he blasted them all off during the night. Man, that was, that was a sight. And he did that, like, every year. Like, he pretty much went into debt just to, uh, do fireworks. Oh, how wonderful. A truly joyous occasion. Susano defeated Orochi and saved Kushi. It was as if the legend of old had appeared right before our eyes. I had feared Susano would bring dishonor on upon his heroic lineage. But when I saw him as he dashed out of his door in his armor to save Kushi, he sure was the spitting image of the great Nagi. 
how happy I was to see him like that. Sob. Of course, I've never glimpsed Snoggy in the flesh myself, but... Say, where did that Susano get to now? I was about to dance for Konohana instead of presenting the usual offering of eight purification sake. Anyway, it's all his fault. He squandered all the sacred sake. Well, cut him some slack. I mean, if you were a hero, I bet you'd drink a little bit too. And for Susano, that big barrel was a little bit of drinking. Now picture if he had done a lot, you couldn't be drunk right now. Which he's probably drunk right now. I mean, be honest, he's probably drunk. So anyway, here's where Tama is. And where Tama is, that's where the fireworks are. Hey, Tama. Hey there. Caught the fireworks scent and thought you'd come play, huh? Well, what do you think? You like my latest works of art? Nothing like seeing them up close. Don't get too close, though. Get ready to be amazed. Here I go. The brightest constellation in the sky. The fabled duo spectacular. And we have another constellation. No, we don't. But we have beautiful fireworks. Courtesy of Tama. Us. Isun. And Susano. Man, those are such good fireworks. Like, I really wish that I could see fireworks like that in uh, real life. Gaha! There you are. Impressive, eh? Yes, Mr. Canadian Man. So, uh, actually, before we go, let's go ahead and share our own firework spirit. Three, two, one. Yeah! See, we can do fireworks too. As good as you. Great Mother Okami Matarasu. I'm not gonna make that joke again. I am filled with unbridled joy at your safe return. It would appear as though the final chapter of Orochi has been written. The entire village is in your debt. Please accept their thanks. That said, what a splendid evening! Even I'm feeling a bit intoxicated by the festival spirit. And that's just what Isun wants. Uh, buddy. I'm surprised he didn't make some comment about that. Uh, he left it all up to me. Wow! Look, sis, look! The fireworks are awesome! Yeah, we're so lucky to see a display like this on our travels. Man, there's nothing like a good tr festival. I used to go to festivals all, all, all the time back home. Uh, oh, uh, I wasn't thinking about my mommy or anything like that. Anyway, Ami, you can't keep slacking off like this. Can you even name all the brush techniques? So far you found nine. Wow, nine already? Wow, I thought we'd found less. Let's see, there's rejuvenation, power slash, and sunrise. Then there's the three-part te the three technique of the gods of flora. You know, bloom, water lily, and vine, which only count as one. And finally, there's cherry bomb, water spout, crescent, gale storm, and inferno. Wonder where the other four brush te gods are hiding. The remaining four brush techniques are the hardest to find. We've searched all over the countryside already, now that we've taken care of that Odoji and all. Maybe it's time we headed to the capital city. If there are more people, there could be more gods there. Don't let it bother you, Ami. Do I look bothered? I haven't seen Susano or Kushi around either. It's not too hard to figure out, though. I mean, a man and a woman disappear during a festival. That's a dead giveaway. They have the hots for each other. I wouldn't go looking for them right now if I were you. Uh, but we are. Also, Camellia and Camille, what travels? Seriously, what travels? You guys have not moved since I met you. You have st stood in this exact same posi position ever since I first headbutted you. Ouch! Hehe, <laughs> I think the wolf likes you. Or I have a problem with your word choice. Okay. There's one place we haven't looked. Sakuya. What a joyous evening. I find myself simply intoxicated by the spirit of it all. Yes, we know. Go away. But there's one place we have not yet looked for Susano and Kushi. The Cave of Nagi. I know it's a bit of a stretch, but I'm actually going to cut to the end of the Cave of Nagi because that is indeed where they are. Susano knew about this place. So let's go. Lag! And here we are go up the stairs at the end of the cave of Nagi and we will be rewarded for our exploration by finding Susano and Kushi 
Indeed, here they are. And... <laughs> what are they doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Like, they keep looking at each other, then bashfully looking away, and pretending to, like, fasten something on their robes, but it looks super, super awkward. Like, <laughs> just, that is so weird. Kushi. Oh, it's you, Snowy. And Isun, too. How brave you both were. Everyone here in the village is so grateful to you. We really can't thank you enough for bringing us peace at last. Oh, come on, sweetie. Everyone plays their part in dangerous times like these. There's no need for us to go around thanking each other. Very well, Isun. Thank you. Tell me, Snowy, are you really just an ordinary wolf? The broken mill suddenly fixed. Spring water flying into the barrel. So many strange things have been happening since you came along. And you certainly know how to put up a good fight, too. F -f fight What fight? Oh, you mean the brawl with Odochi, not brawl. That's unbalanced. We're ta going to talk melee here. Maybe you're a kind of god here, that ke uh, here to keep the peace for us all. But I know you wouldn't want people to make a fuss. So I've been careful not to tell anyone too much about you. You can relax here in our village whenever you want, Snowy. Well, thank you. Oh, no, I didn't mean to talk to, to Sana. Okay, but I will. Oh, it's you again. I see you sniff me out once again, you little mutt. I'm gonna try my hardest to do the Susana voice, despite the fact that my throat's screaming against me doing it. Well, I suppose, um, I should thank you. I may be the greatest swordsman ever and descendant of Nagi, but this great deed would not be possible without a follower. When did you become his follower? I commend your valor. Let us become brothers in arms. Brothers in arms? Don't be bashful. Let us pray before Nagi's statue. We're now inseparable brothers in arms. What an auspicious day, right, brother? Susano and his trusty dog brother. Ah, ah, ah. Hey, Pops, this here's a wolf, not a dog. And this one has a name, too. It's a Matarasu. Oh, you take c good care of my brother, little bug. My good mutt here may have a pretty strange face, but... Still, you shouldn't forget who you're de who you're deal. Uh, sorry, you mustn't forget you're dealing with a highly revered deity. Ah ah ah! What did you just say? Uh, I'm talking to Kushi Ben again before I talk to Susana. Oh, have you seen enough of the festival already? Mumble mumble. No need to worry. <laughs> I'm protecting the peace here in Kamika Village. I'm just bouncing back between them. Behold, Tohen Boku. I now rechristen it Susano Blossom. With this spirit blade, I shall rend evil wherever it may be. Bet you wish you had one of those instead of that divine instrument. So you're able to see Ami's true form from the beginning? Hmm? You again. Bah, you can't do anything without me. <laughs> Listen up, you two. I'm, uh, in the middle of something important, Kushi. You get my drift, now scram! Now let's talk to Kushi again. Oh, have you seen enough of the festival already? Mumble mumble. Boy, Ami, you just don't get it, do you? <laughs> I think they want to be alone. Nudge nudge, wink wink. Okay, so we'll just leave them awkwardly doing whatever they're doing by themselves, which is exactly what they want. So you guys stay awkward. I bet they will. And that's the last we're going to be seeing them for a long time, because we are leaving... Uh, the Shinshu, pr yeah, the Shinshu province. Let's go. Okay, um, one thing I would like to explain real quick is what Susano is talking about with brothers in arms. I mean, that just, just kind of seems like Susano being Susano, but there's actually a little bit more to it than that. Uh, in Japanese mythology, Amaterasu and Susano, Susano are actually uh, siblings. And I'll t tell you more after I go through this loading screen. Yeah, they're siblings. Uh, their parents are Nagi and Nami, two other names we've heard in Legends. So, yeah, they're actually siblings. And that explains why he was talking about brothers in arms and stuff. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and go ahead and leave. <laughs> Redundancy much. And once we get outside of Kaminki Village... Actually, you know what? No. I'll equip it right now. I'd like to equip our new weapon, 
uh, Sumagari. It is a glaive, which we've never been able to use a glaive before. Uh, it's actually very, very useful. I love, I love glaives. Uh, so we're going to have Sumagari as our main, and um, Infinity Judge as our sub. And then before I forget, I'd like to go ahead and upgrade Sumagari. There we go. And let's go. Oh man, that's gorgeous. Look at that. Look at that giant sword on Matarasu's back. You can just tell I'm going to be handing out some powy soon with this thing. Okay, let's go. So, let's leave. We've done all the things we need to do in Kamiki Village. We've shared in the celebrations. But I think it's time for all good things to come to an end. We still have more things to do in our adventures. Uh, about ha Actually, no. Not even half the game. I, I think I had said that last episode in the outro, but I don't think this game is half over. I think this is a third over. Because if you look at the stray bead count, we have, I think, 33 stray beads right now. So we're a third through the game. One third. 30 episodes is one third. This game is long, or at least it's very, very well divided. So yeah, we have a lot more adventures to come. And let's go ahead and start by going to Taka Pass, where I will show you where we're heading next. Let's go! Well, that wraps up this year's Kamiki Festival. Sure hope they can have fun again, uh, fun like this again next year. Well, Furball, I think it's about time we headed to the capital. We gotta go find those other four brush techniques. And there it is. Daytime. And Sakia is the last person we have to say farewell to. Amaterasu, you have only just performed your duties, yet you plan to leave? My heart aches at the thought of our separation. Sakuya, you didn't come all this way just to say goodbye. Boy, you're pretty uptight for a tree spirit. But at the instant of Orochi's passing, I, I quite clearly saw a swirling black mist. In the confusion, I distinctly sense an evil other than Orochi. I'm not sure what it could be. Is there something else at work? Shinshu has been restored. Of that there's no doubt. But nature's tormented cries ring out in other parts of Nippon. Especially chilling are those emanating from the capital in the Ryoshima coast beyond the bridge in Taka Pass. Well, we were planning on visiting that place anyway. The black essence born of Orochi's husk. It was moving toward the capital as well. I cannot say for sure exactly what it means. What I do know is that where whatever has plunged this world into chaos has not yet finished toying with us. This ordeal's far from over. Is that it? No sage advice for us heroes? My apologies, little one. The challenges you face on your journey will be many. But I know that. Though you will grow weary, you will prevail. Prevail. The road you will travel will be fraught with danger, but I pray that the fresh scent of flora will protect you. Amaterasu, Isun, I wish you a safe and fruitful journey. She's gone. A safe and fruitful journey? After what she said? Give me a break! But I always knew getting all the brush techniques wouldn't be easy. Wouldn't be easy. On to the capital! First stop, the city checkpoint at Taka Pass. And you can see the circle in the lower left-hand corner of the map, or rather, southwest. I really need to get in the habit of saying north, south, even east and west. Um, it's where we're going to be going. I have one mermaid coin, I believe, so I will go ahead and use that all the way up here by the dojo. Wait, how much money do we... Oh! Uh, question... Uh, do I really want to do that? Uh, I'm not sure what I should do. I'm thinking it might be wise for me to learn a new technique in the dojo because there's one in there that we haven't yet learned and we can afford it. Uh, but it's not necessary. Uh, you know what? No, I'm going to hold off until I have more money because we're in the city. Once we reach it, there's a lot for us to buy. So I'm going to hold off. It's going to be available later on it's always going to be available so I'm going to hold off on that but if you guys want to there's a technique in there that costs 50,000 yen that we could learn but I personally don't want to so also I actually should 
be over there because they're that's where the mermaid spring is so with the last few minutes left in this episode we're going ahead to or head near to our new destination let's go uh, let's go ahead and use our mermaid coin and I'll show you exactly where we're heading toss it in and in we go or actually not it won't spit it out but if we swim toward it it will bring us up the map option so let's go ahead and go to Taka Pass and here we are now you may be wondering pal haven't we uh, explored everything there is to explore yes and no uh, there is one place only one that we have yet to go to it's all the way on the west side of Taka Pass there's a path that leads all the way out of Taka Pass that I've never gone to before in the LP so let's go ahead and head there now you also uh, to sate some people's curiosity also do I have enough praise no I don't uh, to sate some people's curiosity let's go ahead and go to this and I'll show you guys the stray beads you can see that 9 and 10 and 26 are missing that's fine we can't actually get those yet uh, what oh yeah talk about okay um, we cannot get those yet so in case you're wondering um, we're going to have to be going and getting these at a much much later time like uh, by the time we're getting probably stray bead like 85 that's when we're going to be able to go get 9 10 and 26 that's that's how uh, much later on in the LP we're going to be getting these or at least at least 9 and 10 um, 26 we're going to be getting around the time we get like 40 or something like that so yeah um, we have missed some stray beads but we cannot get those uh, one the last stray bead of talk pass is actually right here but we cannot get it yet because we cannot destroy this rock so yeah when we have the ability to destroy solid rock like that then we will come back here and I will collect that so next time in pal plays Okami hopefully when I'm when I'm not sick we'll be going over there to the city checkpoint crossing that bridge which you can see in the distance which is raised and going to the capital of Nippon hope you guys are looking forward to it because I sure am I'm also looking forward to it because that means I won't be sick so yeah I'm pretty much completely deaf in, in my left ear because that's how bad my ear infection is so yeah I'll see you guys next time. Uh, I release new episodes of Okami Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Unless I'm sick, then I don't. Um, Saturdays are long episodes. If you like this episode, comment. If you didn't like this episode, comment and tell me how I could make next episode so you would like it. So, I'll see you guys next time for another Pal Plays Okami.